Pampered Chef friends. This is Wendy, your Pampered Chef consultant, and I am making the meal that just posted recently. It is the one part pot chicken parmesan and zucchini noodles. So I have prepared my chicken tenderloins in the Rock Crock Everyday Bowl. And then this is just going in the microwave on high for five minutes. So we're gonna stick that right in the microwave for five minutes on high. I have the broiler preheating. This is the first time I'm making this. So I'm using my computer to look at the directions. The chicken has been um, seasoned with salt and pepper. And then we also used the everything but the pizza seasoning. So I thought that would be good for chicken part. And then the next thing that we're going to do while that is cooking, we are going to, and I already started this, I had four zucchinis, and so we spiralized three of them, and we're going to go ahead and spiralize the zucchini, and it goes right in there, there's a little prong on there, and then the prong's there, and so we're going to make our zucchini noodles. Here we go. One moment, please. Apparently, I did not get it on very straight, so we're going to just keep going with it. Just go right like that. See if that's okay. We're going to do the other part of the zucchini noodles. Go ahead and put those in the bowl. And there is a video that shows you how to use the spiralizer, and I guess you really have to make sure that zucchini is on straight. There we go. Needless to say, we have plenty of zucchini. And you just spiralize it to make your zucchini noodles. And normally I would have had the chicken cooking already while the noodles, while I was doing the spiralizing. And that way, by the time I did all four of the zucchini, the chicken would be ready to go. The next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna dry, you're gonna dry these zucchini noodles. The chicken is making some noise in there. I am going to pause the chicken and go ahead and put the lid on it because I hear it popping. Go ahead and cover that chicken. There we go. And then these noodles just, I guess I just take a paper towel and kind of get some of that excess moisture out of them. Earlier today, we spiralized some cucumber and made a cucumber salad with it. That was really, really tasty. So, we've got about two and a half minutes on that chicken, and then I'll check the internal temperature on the chicken. And these noodles are gonna go right in that pot with the chicken. We're then gonna add in the marinara. We have about a cup of marinara. We have two ounces of grated Parmesan. These are our prep bowls that we're using. And then I'm gonna use panko instead of croutons, so I will top it with panko. It will go in the broiler for two to three minutes just to brown up the panko and the parmesan. And so I will come back here in a few minutes and show you the finished product. Have a fantastic Friday. there, Pampered Chef friends. I am back. I realized I said have a fantastic Friday at the end of the last one, and it is not Friday. But anyhow, I have gotten the chicken out of the microwave, and I'm going to use the salad shears to chop the chicken into bite-sized pieces. So this is what I love using this to shred chicken, to chop chicken. We use it when we make fajitas. It is amazing that they just chop the chicken like that. It's kind of fun too, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, it's a lot of fun. 
And for those of you who know me pretty well, you know that I am not really the cook in the family. Damien is the cook. So he's really kind of enjoying sitting back and at, he's the cameraman. So he's kind of enjoying not doing the cooking right now. <laughs> and can you see that chicken getting chopped in there? I'm not sure if my cameraman has it over the bowl so that you can see how this chops the chicken. So this is great if you want to make chicken salad with fresh chicken. And you can use these shears again to chop lettuce in a salad. These are the salad shears. And you know, we don't want too chopped up because this is gonna be a chicken parm dish. So this is a one pot meal. This came right out of the microwave. And now we're gonna add the other ingredients to it. zucchini gets added in and I am using one of our stainless steel bowls to hold that zucchini. Zucchini just goes right in there. Looks like a lot of zucchini. Those of you know, that know me, this is a new experience trying zoodles instead of noodles. And then the pasta sauce gets added in. If you're fancy, you can make your own pasta sauce. I just use some Pasta sauce from a jar. And I am going to combine these things. Again, the pot is the rock crock everyday pot. Absolutely love all things rock crock because they can go from the microwave to the stove to the oven. They even go on the grill. They can be heated up and put on the grill. So love all things rock rock. This one is the one that goes in the quick cooker stand as well. So mix all of that together. They said that you can cut these zucchini noodles if you wanted to. So you could use those kitchen shares again and just cut those zucchini noodles. And then I'm gonna go look and see what the next directions are. Okay, the next step is to put the, this back in the microwave for five to six minutes until the zucchini noodles are kind of mushy. So this is gonna go back in for five to six minutes. And if you notice, I'm able to take that rock crop right out of the microwave without using anything, but I could be using these little silicone things to hold the handles, but the handles just don't get that hot. It's not like other ceramic ware. We will then be adding the cheese and the breadcrumbs on top of all of that and putting it uncovered in the broiler for about two to three minutes just to brown it up and then we will be having dinner. So I will be back with the next step.